Of course, it has to be under my legs. <laughs> Trying to get Dolly some exercise. <laughs> You're doing good, Mom. <laughs> You're trying your best. You're trying your best, I know. I mean, it's not even 7 a.m., but okay. <laughs> Get her, Dolly. You can do it. Get her. Yeah, you're done. Okay. Good morning. Happy switch up Saturday. We're having a a Saturday. <laughs> I'll just say that. Um, so this week I had to go into the office. That was interesting. And then had a just is a is a bad work week. Anywho, um, I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to think about work. Nail check. Let's do that. Uh, it's it's chipped off a whole lot, but I do. It it looked good when I went to work. Um, and broke a couple nails, unfortunately. So that's the the one bad thing. But that was oak couture, much. Much love for Haute Couture. And the, I'll start off with the positive first. Let's start off with the positive first. Here's the, the negative, but we'll start off with the positive. Because this just literally arrived. And I'm hoping it's positive. That's. I lost my mind of. I love these little mailer thingies that they send. They're great for packaging glass and things like that. So that will go well at Vlogmas. Usually um, I do Giftmas and send out sometimes sensitive? No. Fragile. That's what I'm looking for. Fragile things and those come in really handy for that. What a cute little box. That is so fabulous. So this was the color changing, mood changing, thermal nail polish. I don't know how to feel either, but I'm all about the little stickers and the fun nail polishes. So they're all, it's still relatively cool out so they're in their cold state. I'll insert the pictures of again of what this had in it but um, I'm really excited to use these and can't wait to try them out but then I'm in that conundrum right now where I just bought those. I have other things I haven't used yet. I probably should be using those but I want to use those. I want the new. And then I bought something else too, apparently. So a whole box for one item. Oh, rose gold flake hollow taco. So um, this is just a topper, but I wanted to get, I have the gold flaky and the copper flaky and I wanted the pink rose gold flaky because it was a limited edition so that came to fabulous all right so on to the bad the bad thing that came this week so I mentioned a million and a half different times that and I put it in its packaging um that I've been trying to dupe oops, it's not good 
do Cactus Garden because, and Contre Moi because um, Louis Vuitton discontinued these fragrances. Don't know why. And I love those fragrances with a passion. I have found a supplier for Contre Moi that was pretty, pretty good, pretty close. Europe, European perfumes and got it off of eBay, but they have their own website as well. They did a really, really good job with that one. I bought Cactus Garden from them as well. Unfortunately, not as good. They're, theirs is okay. It smells a lot like cleaning product. It's just the wrong kind of lemon. Um, not lemon grass, but lemon, like lemon pledge kind of thing. So I you know google 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 and went all over the place searching and found this website that claimed to um be able to duplicate just about anything it's called fragrance revival i will do that and they send you a little card um and it's horrible i, I mean be beyond horrible it's, it's a fine um, size. It's the bottles, like the bottle is fine. The presentation's fine. That's fine. I think it was $50, if I remember correctly, maybe, maybe 89. I can't remember now. It, less than a hundred. And I'm still mad about it. It smells like juicy fruit gum. It smells nothing. It smells nothing like Cactus Garden at all. I have no idea what, um, how they figured out the the notes because the notes are very basic in cactus garden it's lemongrass bergamot and mate tea um it the three simple notes um if you go to fragantica it's really like pretty thorough about it being a um herbal citrus you know aromatic type of scent it's not a gourmand it's not a sweet um it, it's it's truly herbal citrus and if you've ever smelled cactus garden it's very much a spa like tranquil um non-intrusive type of scent at least to my you know how i sense it it's it's just a really beautiful lovely calming calming is the word i'm looking for calming scent um Anytime I've worn it, it's just been, you know, very much a compliment. Like, oh, that's pleasant. Pleasant. It's a pleasant scent. So when I opened this up, I was so excited that, oh, yes, it's finally here. And it hasn't gotten any better. So it's been here a few days now. I think I got it Wednesday, if I remember correctly. And, or was it Tuesday? Several days ago. And I thought, well, maybe the transportation, the heat, what have you, let me let it acclimate to the house. It's still exactly as it was when I first opened it. So uh, a very much a pack of juicy fruit gum, which is nothing wrong with that per se, which wasn't what I was looking for um, in this fragrance. So very disappointed. I reached out within hours of it. I really, I, I was just so disappointed that I I had heard some things about getting a hold of them was difficult. So I went ahead and reached out right away and said, Hey, this, this is not at all like the fragrance and I need to know what's going to happen. And I just heard back. So they are offering to, I can pick something else from their website. They can try again. I can send them a sample, which seems like a lot of work for me to do to have them fix it. And I'm trying to decide which of the, options to take but I, I I mean I don't think I want to I definitely don't want on their fragrance front I can't trust that they're gonna if they felt that this was accurate it doesn't seem like they got they had any idea of what the original smelled like so I can't really I don't know I can't really trust that any other fragrance on their site is going to be anywhere near as accurate. And from some of the other reviews I'm reading now, it, they, yeah, it's not done well. So I'm a little bit um, disappointed. We'll see what they say. If they're willing to try again based on like, here are the notes. It should not be gourmand. Try again. Um, I'm more than willing to take another like tester or whatever and, and try it out if that's what they'll do um but I, it was just disappointing so 
I've been chatting for quite some time. We'll go over and pick the new fragrance tray of the week, which will not include this, <laughs> and um, see what we're going to do this week. I'll be over there in a minute. Okay, so recap of the fragrance of the week. Um, I did wear everything, so was successful in at least getting some use out of the items and um, have some thoughts. Uh, still getting headaches from this fragrance, which is sad because I really do love the bottles so much. But um, yeah, I, I wore this... Um, was it Thursday? I think it was Thursday, and I ended up having to go take a shower... Um, in the middle of the day to wash it off at lunchtime because I just, it was giving me mega migraines. So um, I finished the day with that. So that's what happens usually is like if I get out, if the floral gives me migraines, then I have to move to something else. Thankfully, I was working from home that day and was able to do that. But um, of course, love my Skylar, um, City of Stars, love it. Um, really excited, happy about these little, um, atomizer things that I picked up. I put in about half, yeah, about half of this bottle into it and it sprays like a dream, applies like a dream. Um, really excited about that, um, option. So that is done. I wore that and this one, Greedy Dior, I... I can't say that I'm the biggest fan of it on me. I, I like the scent. It smells just fine. I don't like it on me. I think it leans masculine on me. I'd like to smell it on my husband and see how it um, smells on him because like um, California Dream and Boys and there's one other one that I have that actually smells better on him than it does on me, even though they're unisex fragrances. Is it Cafe Tuberos? It might be Cafe Tuber, is it? I can't remember. Anywho, um, I'm going to see if he'll put it on one day and see how he likes it. And, you know, he has Sauvage and a couple other of the fragrances. So he's all aware of Dior. And last but not least is the Hermes. Um, which one was this one? It is Serla. Serla Twit. Twat. Twit. Twit. That one. And... It's fine. I I have to say it's my least favorite so far um, of what I've tried. I've only tried two of them <laughs> this week, but um, I can't. I can see why maybe they swapped it out of the set this year at Nordstrom because I don't particularly care for it. So I'm not sure how it's been received out there in the um, you know greater population. So I'm going to try a different one. I have a feeling this is one I'm not going to repurchase ever, but it was fine. Okay. This is the tray of the week. So I found this in my catch-all and just thought I would keep it out. And we're going to do peony and blush suede, a clean, crisp floral. And then that inspired me to grab one of the other Jo Malone's I haven't worn in quite some time, which is Marin Tonka. It's a little bit spicy. And because that's spicy, I went over and grabbed Vanilla Diorama because I love me my vanilla, but I just felt like that was a segue into a heavier vanilla. With the Hermes, we're going to go with Monsieur Lee. I believe that's how you pronounce that. So we'll see how that one goes for this week. And then we're going to go way, way, way back into the archives and grab this coach. I believe this is Poppy, if I remember correctly. Let me go in here if I can read the small. I, I've had that bottle probably 10 years, if not if not 15. It's a, a long, a long time. So I'm really surprised that it still smells good. I accidentally spilled some fragrance on me when I went to the outlet a few weeks ago. And it, this is why I kind of felt like grabbing it. Um, I didn't like the one that spilled on me, but I did like this fragrance a lot. So I thought I would try it out and just see if it's still something I would love. It was one of the few from Coach that I did enjoy back in the day. So that is the tray of the week. 
Okay, so as I mentioned, we did oak couture, and that was fine. I just want something a little bit more fun, and I really want to go into those thermals so bad, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to be a good girl and use something from the existing collection. So we are going to do something relatively basic. It is end of July, near the end of July. Just something pretty. Okay. We're going to do high tea hibiscus and a topper of linear Hello Taco just to give a little bit of um, fo so a coat of that one. I think just the right, right shade for this week. I would love to report that this was a successful week, but it wasn't. Um, <laughs> I had to take out my catch-all. I think my sunglasses are in here. Yes, they are still in here. My phone I'm filming on right now. Um, that was going here most of the week. The keys are here in the middle. My little card case is here in the middle. Um, it, it was a lot. So we, we have discovered, and I shouldn't say we have discovered recently because this is how it's been for a while now. I am not a tiny bag girl. I am, I'm a big bag hoe. And <laughs> while this will be fine on the occasional, um, this journey, this, this, this weekly series, this, this, this foray has enlightened me that if I'm going to move into a bag for a week, it has to be bigger than this. So a week long bag has to be the medium size, at least of a, of a burrow, um, which are what my other two, um, are actually, do I have three now? Three, my three are, and that that's like the minimum size for a weekly bag if i were just to go shopping for the day i'm just gonna throw in the card case keys sunglass okay totally fine but for a week i need a i need a bigger bag so very cute for one day a quick jaunt out maybe shopping whatever very functional um strap not functional for a week so i need to if i'm going to continue this which we'll see I'm going to continue this uh, weekly bag swap out thing than bigger bags. If I change it up more often, which I could change and decide to tell you about all the bags I used for the week, more to come on that possibly, we'll see. But I'm going to find another bag. Ta-da! Dom Donuts, look what I'm going to use this week. <laughs> you should be proud of me. I'm finally going to carry her. Um, yep. So Ricky, Ricky is coming out for once. I think I finally somewhat straightened her out. She's been stuffed and kind of trying to get her figured out. I put an organizer in her, so that kind of helps get her a little bit more structure. I still have to work on her leather a little bit, but Ricky is going to be the bag of the week. I've swapped back into my regular card case going to keep my um, St. Laurent sunglasses. Everything else will be the same. I'll be able to put my catch-all back in. I'll be able to put my little um, pencil case back in. But this did not come with its strap. And I picked this up off of Amazon. So this will be more versatile. I think I did a pretty good job finding a good match for it. The gold's not quite perfect, but I think it's good enough. So that is going to be the bag of the week. I'm going to pack her up and I will be right back. Okay, I have packed up Ricky and my phone is on, you're on it literally, 
up there so she's not in there but there's plenty of room to put the phone inside i'm going to carry ricky open because that is my preferred method um if i had a birkin i would carry a birkin open in this fashion as well and why i believe the ricky is somewhat superior is the fact that it can have a strap so i am excited to take her out on her maiden journey with me this week the bag of the week ralph lauren ricky i believe 27 might be the 33 i can't i can't remember i'll put it on the screen after i measure it okay well that's a wrap so reminder we did this beauty and it just i don't know this color just i just love it so really pretty let's see if it focuses magenta with a linear hollow taco top coat so fabulous <laughs> i think it's fabulous okay i uh, hope you have a great week ahead um the weather here is going to be very temperate, 80s. I think it's a couple 90s in there, but for the most part, 80s. So it's like the best. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. That's, I'm, I'm going in with a positive attitude this week. I'm going to carry a fabulous bag. She's beautiful. I'm really excited about that. And I'm just hoping that this week as we end July and coast into August. <laughs> Everything goes fantastic for everyone out there as well. I will see you next Saturday. Take care. Bye.